I read from an early age, and I always wanted to write. Um, by the time I hit high school, um, I also loved computers. Um, and by the time I hit high school and college and deciding what I needed to do, one of the options was a little more lucrative than the other. <laughs> and so I went that route. But, and I, I had a great career. Um, I was very good at what I did. Um, I loved what I did. Um, and for uh, 25 years, um, I worked for a lot of great companies and, uh, and uh, done a lot of wonder, great technology stuff. Um, but there was always something inside me that was just kind of missing. And it's this creative thing. And so I found, you know, as you know, I got married, had young kids. Um, I never had any time, but I always had these stories kind of burning inside me. And every once in a while, I'd sit down and I'd try to write, and it would be the most awful stuff that you've ever read in your life. And it really discouraged, every time it discouraged me, um, because I was like, I, I can't do this. Um, I stopped reading for a while, and finally I said, well, maybe I need to, maybe I need to read more. Um, so I picked up a book, and I said, okay, I'll read this, and this will tell me, you know, what it takes to be a writer. And I happened to pick up uh, A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. And if you've read that, it is so complex, the writing is so beautiful, I was like, oh my, I can't, I can't do this. And then I started reading other stuff in the genre, and I said, well, I can do that. So, um, so, uh, but what really got me going, what, what finally got me going, I was, I was always somebody, I started things, and I never finished them. Um, in 2008, uh, I, I should have brought the prop. Um, in 2008, um, I started. I started reading. I had young kids, and I'd gained a lot of weight, more weight than I'd ever had in my life. And so I started running. And eventually, my brother and I said, "Why don't we do some half marathons?" Um, so we signed up in 2008 for the half for the Cowtown Half Marathon in Fort Worth, and, and we finished it. And it felt awesome, you know. And it's like, well, that's over. But they put this. Uh, metal around my neck, and it was like a little triangle, um, and they said, hey, if you come four more years, um, you can get a plaque, and these will fit all together, um, and, uh, and, you know, it would be a great accomplishment. So my brother, you know, we're feeling all pumped up from this whole thing, and said, yes, we're going to do it. So uh, we, we committed and said, we're going to do this for four more years, finish this thing out, and I had no idea how hard that was going to be, because I'm, I'm awful at exercise, uh, never, you know, I, 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 I'm like the person, I exercise really hard for a month, and then fall off for a month, and then, you know, wait till next year. Um, but I, I had to keep it up, I had to keep up my fitness and keep running for such a long time that by the time I finished that fifth one, I knew two things. I mean, the one thing, I knew that I could finish stuff, that I could commit to something over a long term, and I could do it. And the second thing I knew is I didn't want to run anymore, because I was, sick, I was sick, and, sick and tired of long distance running. Um, so uh, I decided, well, maybe I should write that book. And that's when I actually sat down, and it was really, really hard for a long time. Um, the words, it is so hard to get those thoughts onto that page. But I, I had an idea, and it was 1994 or 5 when I first had this kind of spark of an idea. Um, and it had stayed, unlike most of my other ideas, which were really bad and I threw away after a while, this idea just stuck with me over and over again for years. Finally, you know, I said, I'm going to write that idea down. Um, and I worked on it a bit more, and it's like the story just kind of fell out of the air. Um, and it, it, it almost formed, fully formed in my mind. Um, and so I started writing it, and I didn't come to this group until I'd actually finished the first manuscript. And it was bad. <laughs> it, it was not a good manuscript. It wasn't really well written. Had a lot of, but but it was, but it was a good story. But it, but it was a good story, um, and uh, the group that I, I came in, like like I mentioned earlier, I came in and I had this awful little info dump of a first chapter, and everybody just kind of looked and. And I've learned exactly what that look is. It's like, okay, you're making the same mistake everybody else does, you know. So here's how you fix it. Um, and by listening to no, the three of these writers were here when I started, um, by listening to them and others, um, it really helped motivate me. It helped me uh, consistently learn to get to the point where I was able to finish my first book, which is there, the tuning station. Um, and I've just finished my second, and I've got it uh, ready for beta at this point. Um, but um, just uh, finding that motivation to write is hard, because it is hard work. 
It's, it's, it's a lot of work, it takes time, and you're, you're taking something that is um, very personal for you, you know, and that book was very personal, and you're showing it to people, and there is a lot of terror involved in that, you know, opening your soul up for other people to look at. So, really, overcoming that fear, um, the, the joy of having it done um, is just awesome. Now, my own, as far as my publishing journey with this book, um, when I finished it, um, I started submitting it to agents um, and to publishers, um, and I actually got some bites. I got I got some interest and kind of some, you know, it, it, it doesn't fit in a really close genre. It's kind of too Christian for 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 a lot of publishers and not Christian enough for Christian publishers. Um, it doesn't really follow the rules um, that uh, the Christian genre likes. So it was kind of a hard place. I did find a publisher who said, oh, we want to publish this. Um, and I studied the contract, and I, as I was reading it, you know, there's all this excitement. It's like somebody has acknowledged me, somebody said, you know, I want to put your book in print. Um, and, you know, th th there was that excitement, but as I kept reading through the contract over and over again, I kept thinking, well, they have the right to change this. You know, these things that were really important to me, you know, why I wrote this book, um, they could change them. So I contacted them back and said, I'd love for you to publish my book, but with these guidelines. And I said, these are two, you can't change the end, and you can't change this other part. Um, and they came back to me and said, no, we can't do that. We would, we would need those, those changed. Um, and it's heartbreaking. Um, but on the other hand, I'm a highly technical person, so self-publishing, learning the process wasn't that difficult for me. Um, so I've self-published the book. It's met with not great success yet. Um, I'm still looking. I'm still looking for my audience. Um, marketing is something that even if you get published, it's something that you're responsible for as an author. Um, my next book, that's actually completely different than any other book I ever want to write. I'm more of a science fiction, um, science fiction, uh, and so I've got a young adult science fiction fantasy type book that will be my next book, and that's probably where my career is going to go. But I'll always love that book because it's the thing that got me writing. And I know, you know, when you write that first book, you'll know. Um, you know, you can, you can rough it out, you can publish it, and it may be a pain to you after that, but for me, it was a revelation. It's like something that was missing. Um, some type of creativity, some type of just getting myself out um, into the world. Um, I found that, that I used to get through programming, but I really don't get it anymore. Um, I got it from, I get it from writing, and it is the most incredible feeling, um, and uh, if, if that is your path, then it is definitely worth the pain, and, uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah, th th there will be pain, it's definitely worth the pain, humiliation, and frustration that, that will come.